Hi, it's Trace. I'm back. I'm making empanadas today. The, my version of them, probably not authentic. I don't know. Come on, it's just food. Sorry, I gotta have some coffee. This is sort of my take on junk food. If I feel like just something to snack on, this is the thing. In here, I wasn't gonna film it, that's why I've already started. I have two generous cups of all purpose flour, a little bit in the palm of my hand of baking powder, probably about a teaspoon, same of salt, and that's it. Give it a shush around, and I'm using a stick of margarine. Yeah, you know, I don't know. I don't eat margarine, but I sure cook with it. And I think in this instance, kind of like in my sweet scones, I think it's just better with margarine. So, you know, haters, I'm sorry. So anyway, so put drop that in there, cut up. Uh, and here's the thing, before you hate on it, seriously, try it. Because it's gonna have delicious filling. I think the margarine makes it flakier, and I, I don't exactly know the science behind that. If somebody knows that, tell me. Okay, uh, give it a few. And I wanna make sure that all gets chunked up in there. Beautiful, yes, you can do this with your hands, yes. I usually do. One third of a cup of cold water. I put it in the fridge just because my eggs are from my chickens and my eggs are in temperature, so I, I need the water to be super crazy cold in order to keep it all cold. Get the mix up. Yeah, fabulous. And then, actually, you know what? I'm gonna do it this way. Drop it in. Pulse it. If it needs more flour, add some. If it's too dry, add a little water. This is so easy. This dough will love you. It, it's not precious at all. Beautiful, squishy, awesome. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Get this stuff out of the way. Move this, whoops, take this off. Yeah, so I'm in the market for a, a new food processor. I like the quiz, uh, I like them all. This is a brawn and I've had it, oh, I don't know, 30 years. But it's starting to fall apart. You see the, the thing is cracked here and, and the, uh, I can't use any of my attachments anymore because the arm thing that goes up in the middle broke. And get this, I called Braun, <laughs> ask for another one. And I quote, oh, that part is obsolete. Obsolete? Come on now. If you're gonna make an appliance that lasts, in my opinion, you should continue to support it. But that's just me, that's my rant. Okay, look how fantastic this dough is. It's one of the few doughs that really likes me. <laughs> Just, okay. So what I do here is I chop it in half-ish. Half's infinitely easier to work with. And you see I didn't put any flour on the board at all. And then I put it in little Ziplocs, Ziplocs or roll it in plastic. Really doesn't matter. You want to chill it. Oh, look, this one is way bigger than the other one. That's all right, it's dough. Come on now, you'll be fine. So, excellent. That's all she wrote there. How easy is this stuff? This, later on, I'm gonna let it chill for, pro look how bad that is. I'm gonna let it chill for probably an hour. Uh, then I'm gonna roll it out, cut it in circles, and fill it up with the filling that I'm making today. Uh, which, as I said, will be a different video. And it's going to be awesome. So there you go. There's the dough. You could keep it. In the, you can freeze it at this point. It freezes for a long, long time. Just write on it what it is and shove it in your freezer. And anytime you feel like empanadas, you just pull it out and say, oh, thank you, freezer. Any leftovers? 
Uh, anyway, I'll talk about that uh, later on when I'm making these. So they go in the fridge, half an hour, go have a glass of wine, read a book.